There are lots of people working for different organisations looking after the health and well-being of local communities. We know that can be really confusing. Therefore, integrated care teams, sometimes called ICTs, are part of a new way of organising these people. They work as a team, communicating and organising themselves so that care is better coordinated and multiple needs are met effectively. ICTs will support you to make healthy choices that will stop you becoming unwell in the first place. They will explain what support is available close to where you live. When you need more help, they will find the right person to support you. My name is Bill. I'm 68 and retired. My wife Jean passed away unexpectedly last Christmas. That's when I stopped going out. Jean did all the organising, you see, and my daughter and her family live in Australia. I don't even walk Daisy our dog anymore. I've smoked for years and losing Jean made me smoke more. I also started to drink more. It helped me remember the good times. After Jean died, I said I would never go to hospital. Too many bad memories. Before she went into hospital, we seemed to go round in circles with lots of people asking us the same questions. We found it really confusing and frustrating. I've visited the GP quite a bit lately. I don't know who else to talk to when I feel poorly. Most recently, I went to see Dr Roberts because my chest was bad. She knows about Jean and asked how I was. We chatted and I told her I'd tripped over Daisy so she looked at the cut on my leg. Dr Roberts said she thought I was showing signs of depression and asked if I wanted to talk to someone. She told me about a new team which she's part of called an integrated care team. She said it could help me. She spoke with her colleagues and before I knew it, the ICT were there to support me. Cherry came to see me. She asked about me and how I was feeling and put new bandages on my leg. She told me more about the ICT and how together they would help me through using lots of different support from the local area. Cherry explained that Sam would be organising my care and she'd make sure I was seen by the right people for my needs. Sam was so thoughtful and gave me lots of support, which I didn't know could make me feel better. I've not been eating very well, so Sam gave me advice on healthy eating. She noticed my dentures were loose too. I told her I had mouth ulcers. She suggested I see a dentist. I did, and the dentist made me a brand new set of dentures, which made eating a lot easier. The cut on my leg had not got any better, so Sam recommended I go to a special wound care clinic. I missed the appointment at the clinic because my chest was bad. A nurse telephoned and arranged for someone to see me at home. I was given a prescription and told I was having a flare-up and I would need to be monitored for a few days. A health support worker came out in the evening to check everything was all right, which made me feel less worried. Before, I would have probably called the GP for an appointment in the morning. The next time I saw Sam, she showed me how to use my inhalers properly and gave me some exercises to help with my breathing. Through the ICT, I spoke with Roger. I told him about my previous bouts of depression and how I had been drinking to cope. I told him I wanted to feel like I was back in control. He talked about a talking therapy service and said that alcohol might be making me feel more anxious. Being open with Roger helped me, so I decided to ask him to put me in touch with the service. There were other people involved in my care too, but I didn't meet them. A pharmacist arranged a pillbox and a specialist nurse gave me some advice that helped my leg heal properly. And if I need additional support to make sure I can stay at home where I'm comfortable. The team will put me in touch with social care who will assess my needs and make the appropriate arrangements. I thought I was ready to do more now, so Sam put me in touch with a navigator. He asked what I would like to do. I was unsure what to say, so I told him about Daisy and he suggested a local walking group. I was nervous, so he sent one of his colleagues to join me. I was really pleased to get a call afterwards to check how it had gone. I told him that the exercise and the company really helped lift my spirits. Now I'm volunteering with a local group. I've learned lots and met new friends. We have a good time and when I'm feeling low, I call my neighbour George who always cheers me up. My care records are up to date so everyone knows where my health and well-being is up to. 
I can't thank the team enough. They really worked well together to help me find my independence. They knew what each other were doing and I've never felt confused or frustrated, not like Jean did. Now, when I walk Daisy, I notice what's going on around me and I feel content. I've told the team when the time comes to be with Jean, I want to die at home, not in hospital.